If you or somebody you know has been diagnosed with hypertension related to high aldosterone, it can get very confusing. So in this video, I'm going to explain a procedure called adrenal vein sampling, which is a specialized test that helps us understand more about your adrenal glands. It is a very important information that will guide us in developing the best treatment plan for you. So the adrenal glands are these tiny glands located just above your kidneys, and they produce hormones that help control blood pressure, stress response, and other essential functions. So here's a picture of your kidneys, and the adrenal veins are located just above the kidney, going to the right kidney. From the renal artery, there are arteries going to the adrenal glands. This is the left renal vein and the right renal vein, and this is the IVC. On the right side, there is a single vein that drains into the inferior vena cava, and on the left side, there is a single vein that drains into the left renal vein. Sometimes, one or both of these glands can produce too much of a hormone called aldosterone, which can lead to high blood pressure. High aldosterone can be caused by a small benign tumor in the adrenal glands called an adenoma. Relax, it's just a benign tumor. But it can also be caused by a condition called hyperplasia, when both adrenal glands are producing too much aldosterone. The main difference is that if it is an adenoma that is producing the excess hormones, then it can be cured when you remove the adenoma. However, if both adrenal glands are producing the hormones, then you do not have a cure because you can't remove both adrenal glands, although it can be treatable with medication. So if you underwent a CT scan or let's say an MRI and they found a nodule in your left adrenal gland, so we're done, right? No. <laughs> Turns out that most nodules that we find, in this case we're going to call them adenomas, are not producing anything. So you could still have hyperplasia. This is exactly when adrenal vein sampling becomes essential. You see, adrenal vein sampling helps us identify if one adrenal gland or both adrenal glands are responsible for the increase in the hormones. And knowing this will help us decide whether medication or surgery might be the best approach for you. This is a CT scan of the abdomen, and this is the liver, this is the stomach, and this is the spleen. This is your right adrenal gland, and it's a normal adrenal gland, and you can see how small and thin it is. Now, this is your left adrenal gland, and you can see there is a nodule, a little lump in it. It's low density, so we can tell for sure it's a benign lesion, it's a benign adenoma. But essentially, that's all we can tell based on the picture. The image does not give any idea of the function of the adrenal glands. So now, let's talk about the procedure. So adrenal vein sampling is a minimally invasive procedure done by an interventional radiologist. You'll be lying on a standard fluoroscopy table and we'll give you some local anesthetic in the groin. And then we insert a small IV and under x-rays we guide a tiny catheter, a tiny tube called a catheter, it's the size of a small spaghetti, and we navigate under x-rays to find the right and then the left adrenal veins and we take a bunch of samples. The entire procedure takes about 20 minutes and we usually use some mild sedation so you'll be very comfortable during the procedure. There is a small catch though. Because the adrenal veins are very small and difficult to find, sometimes we think we are in the adrenal vein but turns out we could be into a different vein. But don't worry, you have a way to tell. It turns out we measure another hormone called the cortisol at the same time and we know that we got the correct vein if the cortisol is three times higher than the cortisol in your inferior vena cava. So if it turns out we did not get the correct adrenal vein, then in the same day, right away, we'll bring you back and take some additional samples. After the procedure, you may feel a little soreness in the area where the catheter was inserted, but this usually goes away quickly and you should be able to do your normal activities the next day, including showering, driving, working, and even exercising. Like any other procedure, adrenal vein sampling has some risks, right? Although in this case, it's really, really rare. This can include bleeding, bruising, and infection at the site of the catheter insertion, or very rarely, a reaction to the contrast dye used. Our team is highly trained to minimize and manage any potential risks and we'll be monitoring you through the entire procedure. Now we're gonna talk about the results and that's where it gets a little bit complicated, so stay with me. To normalize the samples, we use the aldosterone to cortisol ratio to assess the results on each adrenal gland. This is calculated by dividing the aldosterone level 
by the cortisol level in each of the samples. If the aldosterone to cortisol ratio in one adrenal gland is four times higher than in the other adrenal gland, then we consider this a positive result and in general we recommend surgery. However, as always, you need to discuss this in detail and analyze the numbers with your endocrinologist before you make any final decisions. These results will help us understand how your adrenal glands are functioning. So if only one gland is overproducing aldosterone, we may recommend surgery to remove that gland, which often will significantly improve your blood pressure. But if both adrenal glands are affected, the medication is usually the best treatment. Once we have the results, which usually take only a few days, we'll discuss them with you in detail and work together to decide the next step. So here's how the procedure is done. This is a catheter and we're injecting contrast into the IVC and we find the first vein. Oops, that's not it. This is a hepatic vein actually. So we keep looking and then we find the right adrenal vein. Which you can confirm by injecting contrast, you see the vein and there is often a vein communicating with the kidney. We then put the catheter on the left adrenal vein. You can see the kidney here and the adrenal vein there. And we find the left adrenal vein, the catheter is placed there and we draw the blood. Here is the left adrenal vein. Thank you.